Welcome to this lesson on IC8279 Programmable Keyboard Display Controller. Most of the microprocessor based system requires more number of 7 segment display and keyboard consisting of many keys. Microprocessors in addition to executing the main program, most of its time is spent in scanning the keyboard and refreshing the display. The processor time can be effectively utilized if these housekeeping operations like scanning the keyboard and refreshing the display are carried out by some other means. The Intel has developed a specific support IC8279 to handle the keyboard and display independently. When more number of display digits are needed, multi digit technique is used and when more number of keys are needed, matrix keyboard technique is used. The IC8279 has the provision to handle multi digit display and to handle the matrix keyboard. Now, let us see the details of IC8279. IC8279 has all the facilities to interface a matrix type keyboard and multi digits 7 segment display device. The display interface section has 8 display data lines. They drive the segments of a display device. The 4 scan lines S0 to S3 are used to select any one digit out of the different display digits. In the keyboard section, the return lines RL0 to RL7 are the column lines of a keyboard. The shift and control lines read the status of the shift and control keys of the keyboard. The scan lines S2 to S0 play the additional role of selecting one row out of the many rows of the keyboard. The interrupt request line becomes active for every key press. The CPU interface section has eight data lines for data transfer with the CPU. It also has other control lines to interface with the system bus. The device can drive a maximum of 16 display digits. For this purpose, its internal structure features a 16 location display RAM. This RAM stores the display data of the 16 digits. The different display digits are multiplexed. This means they are not turned on together but one after the other. The four scan lines can be decoded externally into 16 lines to select any one of the 16 display digits. The lines A3 to A0 together with B3 to B0 provide the 8-bit segment information for the display digits. The BD bar line can be used to blank all display digits. When the first digit is switched on, the first display buffer content is placed in A3, A0 and B3, B0 lines and so on. To capture the keyboard data, the device features an 8 location keyboard buffer RAM. This is operated in first in first out or FIFO mode. It can store 8 keyboard entries. The first in first out mode enables the entries to be read in the correct order. The scan lines S2, S1 and S0 are decoded to 8 lines to drive up to 8 rows of keys. The return lines RL7 
to RL0 are used as column lines for the keyboard. The 8 row and 8 column signals enable the device to handle a 64 key keyboard. However, each key can have more than one function. This is made possible through the use of shift and control keys. Pressing together any key and either shift or control or both can give three more functions for each key. Thus, 64 keys effectively could become 256 single function keys. Therefore, two exclusive lines, control and shift, take care of the shift and control keys. When a key is pressed, its 8-bit code is loaded into the first location of the buffer RAM. The interrupt request is raised to indicate that the buffer RAM is not empty. The key codes for subsequent key presses will be stored in the buffer in the same order as they were pressed. The device also features data lines and other control signals needed for CPU interface. The eight data lines are connected to the data bus of the CPU. The reset signal is connected to the reset out of the CPU. The device has two internal registers, the command register and the data register. The CD bar line selects one out of these two registers. When it is one, command register is selected. When it is zero, data register is selected. It is connected to the A0 address line. The address decoder is designed so that the device is selected for the I.O. addresses 30 and 31H. The data register will have address 30H and the command register 31H. The read bar and write bar connected to I.O. read and I.O. write signals. The clock signal is connected to the system clock. That completes the features of CPU interface. The 8279 has to be programmed before it can be used. The programming involves writing a command word into the command register. The device can be set for the desired keyboard and display mode. The device can be set up for to operate either 8 or 16 digits display. Further, the data can be made to appear from left end to right end, just like a typewriter. This is called typewriter mode. Or on the other hand, the data can be made to appear from right end to left. This is just like the calculator. This is called calculator mode. The device must also be set up to handle the situation when more than one key is pressed together. This device features eight command words. In this lesson, we will study four most often used commands. Though there are eight different commands, all of them are stored into the same command register. Then how are the different commands identified by the device? The three most significant bits of the command word indicate the function of the command. The remaining five bits select other parameters of the command. This command sets up the operation of keyboard and display. D4 and D3 are meant for display, while D2, D1 
and D0 are used for keyboard. D4 and D3 could be 0, 0. This indicates that 8 digits are displayed and each digit has 8 bits. It also means that the data storage in RAM starts from the leftmost digit. This is known as the left entry mode or typewriter mode. The D2, D1 and D0 bits could be 0, 0, 0. This sets up the device for two key lockout and also means the keyboard uses encoded scan. If two keys are pressed at the same time, the last key released will be entered. This is called two key lockout. Encoded scan refers to the four scan line outputs. In the encoded scan mode, S2, S1, S0 lines are taken and decoded to eight lines which are used to scan rows. If D2, D1 and D0 are 001, then it means two key rollover and keyboard uses decoded scan operation. In the decoded keyboard scan, internally the least two bits are decoded and the decoded output is available at the output pins S3, S2, S1 and S0. A keyboard using decoded scan can have only four rows of keys. However, the external decoder is not required. In order to set the device for encoded scan, two key lockout and eight digit display, the command word works out to 0000. zero, 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 zero 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 that is zero zero H when these instructions are executed the keyboard and display will be set up however there are some other options available for keyboard display mode set command The device scans different keys one by one to detect any key press. It also turns on the display digits. It also does key debouncing. To do all these operations, it requires timing signal. The device needs an internal clock. The device is designed such that the frequency of clock has to be around 100 kilohertz. The device receives clock signal through one of its pins. It can be a internal clock or external clock. This clock has to be divided by a suitable number to get 100 kilohertz. Therefore, the system provides a command word to determine the scale factor. This scale factor has to be chosen such that when external clock is divided by this number, it should be around 100 kilohertz. For instance, when the external clock is 2 megahertz with a scale factor of 20 will provide the internal clock of 100 kilohertz. Now let us learn the command word for this. The 5 bits PPPPP define the scale factor. To have a scale factor of 20, the command word works out to 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, that is 3, 4, H. The move immediate instruction loads the command word into the accumulator. The out instruction loads the command word into the command word register. After the execution of these two instructions, the clock division factor is set to 20. However, when this command is not executed, the default divisor value is 31 decimal, that is 
PPPPP will be 11111. In this case, the system clock of 3 MHz can be connected to obtain 100 kHz clock. Each segment of the display is an LED. In some type, all the cathodes are tied together. Therefore, a one level at any anode will switch on that LED. In another type, all the anodes are tied together. Therefore, a zero level at that cathode will switch on that LED. In addition, an LED may be switched through a transistor. The transistor circuit introduces an inversion in the signal. All these factors determine whether 0 or 1 is needed to turn on an LED. Therefore, a proper collection of 0 or 1 is needed to display a digit. Now let us learn how to write a display data and how to load it into the buffer. In our example, A3 a2, A1, A0 lines from IC8279 are connected to the segments D, C, B, A. B3 line is connected to decimal point and B2, B1, B0 lines are connected to the segments G, F and E. It is assumed that when a given bit is 1, the corresponding segment is switched on. For instance, to display C, the segment code becomes 93H. And to display 2, the segment code is B5H. To display information, the segment data has to be written in the internal display buffer. To enable writing into the display buffer, the write display RAM command has to be written into the command word register. The AI is the auto increment flag. AAAA is the address of the digit that the CPU is going to write into the buffer. 4-bit address is provided to select any one of the digits. For example, to write the segment code 93H into the first location of the display RAM, the command would be 100100000, that is 90H. These instructions will write the display command in the command register. Following the loading of the write display RAM command, these instructions will write the data 93H in the first location of the display RAM. Now the letter C will be displayed in the leftmost digit. The auto increment flag of the command has been set up to 1. This causes the next out data register operation to write the data in the next location, that is, second location of the display RAM. Execution of these instructions will cause the segment code B5 to be written in the second location. The numeral 2 is displayed in the second digit from left. Friends, we will have a demonstration of programming the device IC8279. In this demonstration, we will be learning to display a character on the 7 segment display unit. First, the keyboard display mode set command word is loaded into the command register. In this trainer kit, the user area starts from the address 8C00. 3E is the opcode for move immediate A instruction. 00 is the command word to set encoded scan, two key lockout and a left entry display mode. D3 is the opcode for out instruction to load the command word into the command register 31H. 
90 indicates that auto increment is to be set and the address 00 in the display RAM is selected. This out instruction loads the command word into the command register. In order to display character C, the corresponding segment code 93 is loaded into the data register. This out instruction loads the data into the data register address 30 H. 76 is the halt instruction. Now let us execute the program starting from 8C00. The letter C appears on the display. We will include two more instructions so that C2 can be displayed. B5 is the segment code for the character 2. This segment code is loaded into the display buffer location by the out instruction. The halt instruction is included at the end. Now the program is executed to display the character C2. In the same way, a string of characters can be displayed. Let us view an interesting display program. When a key is pressed, a key code is formed and placed in the FIFO RAM. Simultaneously, the interrupt request line is raised. This interrupt request line interrupts the CPU. Then it reads the data from the FIFO RAM. This method is called interrupt mode. Alternatively, the status word of the device can also be read. The status word indicates the number of valid key press that has entered into the FIFO RAM. It also indicates the number of error that has occurred. As soon as the first key press is detected, the D0 bit goes high. Therefore, the CPU has to check for one level at D0 bit of the status word. If one level is detected, the FIFO RAM content has to be read for the key code. This method is called polled mode. The status word is read by reading the status register. This instruction brings the status word into the accumulator. Now let us see the key code format and command for reading the key data. The D7 bit represents the control key status. The D6 bit represents the shift key status. S2, S1 and S0 represent status of the scan lines. R2, R1, R0 represent the status of the return lines RL0 to RL7 in encoded form. Thus, the status of the scan and return lines essentially form the keyboard data. Following a key press, the key code is formed and placed in the FIFO RAM. Before reading the FIFO RAM, a read FIFO RAM command has to be written into the command register. The AI flag and the address lines AAA are relevant only in sensor matrix mode. They are not applicable to the keyboard mode. Therefore, the command word to read the keyboard would be 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 that is 4 0 H. After executing these commands, the FIFO RAM may be read for keyboard data. This instruction will read data from the FIFO RAM. 3 0 H 
is the address of the data register. Friends, now let us see the demo of keyboard operation. The program has been written to read the key code and to display it in the 7 segment display unit. In this trainer kit, the user area starts from the address 8C00. 3E is the opcode for move immediate A instruction. 00 is the mode set command word. D3 is the opcode for out instruction to load the command word into the command register 31H. The status register is red and checked for the key press. If no key is pressed, the program will be in loop waiting for a key press. Once a key is pressed, the program will come out of the loop. Now, in order to read the keyboard buffer, first the command word 40H for read key press is entered into the command register 31H. And then the keyboard data is read by assessing the data register 30H. Subsequently, the program is written to display the key code in the 7 segment display unit. Now let us execute the program starting from 8C00. When any key is pressed, the key code is displayed. The same procedure may be followed to read the key press for further processing. Let us review what we have learned in this lesson. The 8279 is a programmable interface device. It interfaces a matrix type keyboard and a multi-digit display. It can handle up to an 8x8 matrix keyboard. It can also implement control and shift key functions. The device can handle up to 16 digit display and manages left or right data entry. The device has 8 command word to implement these features. A microcomputer using 8279 relieves the CPU from doing keyboard reading and display routine. The CPU's time can be effectively utilized. Goodbye until we meet again.